Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Marmoset, and welcome back to City Skylines and Town of Animalia, the city of Animalia. Well, not quite. What you're mostly looking at now, right now, is a diverging diamond interchange. This is something I discovered in the previous times between episodes, as a way of getting large volumes of traffic to move back and forwards in a very compact and effective way. What the diverging diamond interchange does that is very interesting is that you have no right turns across traffic. So... Here is your main highway going across, and here's your sub-road that you're, you're exchanging down onto. Previously, you would come down along here, hit an interchange, and have to cross traffic to go this way. What this does is the road, the sub-road here, flips sides. So you can see here, the end here, we have an interchange where these roads essentially fold over onto each other. This means that when you are exiting off the highway up here, you turn left and immediately join a road, and you turn turn right, immediately join a road, and then turn left, and immediately join a road. You don't ever have to worry about crossing into traffic. And got, in fact, if you want to turn around, you can loop all the way around and go out here. Same with the other side. Coming in, left turn. Because this road flips over, you don't have to worry about getting this slip or this path to go in this way, going around or under or over this road. You just have this interchange. Now, this version, and many others I've seen of it, they use a minor road. And a highway. I want to try and do it with two highways in this episode of City Skylines in Animalia. And I will not be going with um, this crossover with the um, the traffic lights or the traffic control. I think it's just going to cause a snarl up. Um, and so what we'll be having is our main road is going to dive underneath and have the slip roads come off. And one of our roads over here is going to rise up and go over the top of the other one. So we should be able to get everything we want in terms of our connections done and not have to worry about this potential traffic bottleneck. So, I will see you in the game. And we're back in the game. And we're a megalopolis. Extra final bit of space. Monuments, which we'll be looking at later. And an international airport. Huzzah! So, as this plane flows overhead, this is the junction, the mess, that I wish to replace with a diverging diamond interchange. So we will be merrily doing the deletings and cutting this back. Like so. Now we need to just dive underground and tuck away and probably bury a fair selection of cars. So, the main road that we are going to be there we go, there's the highway diving underground will be the main road, so I am just going to upgrade that to the silenced one, silenced version. So we will be diving this road. Now, if, before we do that, we do need to work out where from, but I think we should be able to... Uh, actually, that's straight in this section. Isn't it? Hmm. Well, let's just flat out do something about like that. By just getting that road, we will go onto straight mode. We will go across like that. Is going the right direction? Yep. And then we will go back the other way. And then we will turn that on and connect up the fine little bits and pieces. Let's go back just a little bit more. And then. Here, for these kind of tinkerings, we want to get our other road in. Right, so now that we've got that bit straightened, we can take out those chunks, grab that, come out the minimum amount of distance we need, do the same over here, connect the two up. And then flip the direction of that. And then do exactly the same over here. Come out the minimum amount we need. Join it. Oops, double clicked a lot there, so that's that road. 
diving underneath and then we'll draw our slip roads from further off. Now in this is the row we were going to flip over each other so we will start again coming back up to this level so with our straight road this is the road coming in so we want it on that side this is the road going out and we want it on that side and now we connect up this side to there and then come on I'm pretty sure you can get through that gap hmm looks like I'm probably going to have to build the lower one first and then go over the top of it minimum amount let's just go absolutely dead straight off here and then come round onto what will be quite a sharpest curve but hmm can be solved by just moving have you come around to about here cancel go to a straight line and turn the snap off so we can get that with the angle oh, it's a very very small one there and then we'll switch back to you and we need to connect Let's turn the snapping back on. You to there, and then we are coming hmm. Yes we can. Yeah, that's a little bit hideous. So we'll see if we can do it just a little bit better. Like so. So that's our switch over. Now we need to put the slip lanes in. So if you're coming down this way, we'll go for a two lane road. You're going to want to go over here, and then you're going to want to split one of these lanes going that way, one lane, really? You're going to make that a problem for me? No, no, there we go. Set. So come out, go that way, come out, go that way. I'm hoping to make this a smaller junction. It appears it might be about the same size, but so be it. That's the on. I'm going to do the same coming this way. It's a two lane road. Have you come off about here? Come to about there ish or so. And then we want to split you. Away that way, and then that way. So there's that route, and there's that route. I think perhaps we could probably split that a little earlier. So, I don't mind that one curving so much. Goes into there. All right, now we need to get out. So, if you want to get down here, you need to go 
come around to here. And then you'll join double line. Or you need to come from here to there. Okay, yep, so that's both lines off, so you can go up and around if you so wish. Hopefully not too much traffic is going to be doing that. Part of me is more than a little bit tempted to swap those two over and just say, well, you know, City Science path's pretty good. You don't need to worry about people getting too hideously lost. So what we will do is we will switch those ones over so I don't have the traffic getting in each other's way. Basically, it's not quite a diverted diving interchange, but it's the beginnings of one. It doesn't mean I don't have some absurd deep diving roads. So we will do the same principle over here. So if you're trying to get from here, okay, so there. So I want to make sure that, that road. Comes around and joins up over there. Now I need to come connect into here, so this road will peel off to right here, switch to two lane road, and have it connect in a sensible fashion. And then we will grab the next road. So you need to come what's coming off from here. Rise, cross, and come round. So, more of a double helix or double X, not a diamond interchange, but we've got the core thing. If you're going this way, you can split two directions. If you're coming in, two directions, two directions. So, let's see. Let's see probably shorten that power line a little bit. So get rid of that slightly redundant one. Probably also trim that power line out as well. Yes, yeah, so we can trim out quite a bit of power lines in our industrial district. I'll unpause and let time tick while we sort this lot out. And then we will go back to speed and have a look at our new diverted diamond interchange in just a sec. Probably going to have to go through with a broad bit of painting. And make sure we've got all our industrial gaps nicely filled. Is any bigger? No. There will be a few gaps caused by said power lines that we were just trimming out. No, you should be opposites. No, offices. Industry. Little bits and pieces here. There's a set of power lines. There's some more power lines. Power line hunting. Spot the gap. Spot the tiny, tiny gap that's been left by the power lines. And unfortunately, I was able to get quite a few of them down the gaps between the roads. But overall, I think I am pretty happy that we've got all of them. Grand. So let's go back and have a look at our road into the network and see if we've got anyone doing screwy alright, so that turn is slowing people down a fair bit but they are laning and pathing correctly, which is nice and getting people shunting across on there, because they're coming in on the right hand side and they want to be heading on the left hand side over there but they don't appear to be causing too much in the way of problems right now 
Alright, I'm going to call that a vague success. This was the easy one. We've got a lot of space over here. A later episode is going to involve possibly dealing with this one, which is beginning to snarl up. Yeah, so we'll probably be looking at this one, which is still an old-fashioned um, roundabout solution that we've previously discussed doesn't work very well. Um, it's an awful lot of people. Let's take a look at traffic management. Awful lot of people. Woo, that danced around a bit. Going double left on this. So, in the short term... Let's see what we can do about... Yeah, so we can get it there. Let's see what we can do about solving that. Ooh, no, I left it in the middle. Really? Pretty sure the railway's not an immediate problem. You do like putting bizarre... Kinks in my road, don't you again. Fine, I'll do it the other way. Now we'll come out this way, put a connection in, and then reverse the damn thing. Uh, it'll take a little bit of time before they all repath, but they're coming in here, they're sliding across, and they're trying to get left. So let's get them off that roundabout. And then we'll look at revisiting this later. There's no advantage to having three lanes there. And we are just getting people snarling up and backing up a lot there. Hmm. Oh, now let's just try changing that road down in size for a bit. Because people don't tra don't transit in city skylines in a way that normal cars would. They don't just join in and then try and step across. They're immediately just trying to come all the way across to the outside lane. We'll deal with this right about in a bit. It's mostly a bit of a mess. Yeah. Yeah, this junction is need rearranging. So we'll be looking at that in a later episode. I've also got my eye on this, which is vaguely moving, but still probably could be better. Yeah, there's roundabout exchanges here and here. I mean, particularly this one, I think, could probably benefit from being rearranged. We'll probably have a look at all of that in a later episode. But in the short term, we've got these monuments. What's this? Space elevator. Million and a half, which we just have. These people come far and wide to the space of Alasia. Huge influx of tourists who enjoy spending money while visiting. Interesting. I wonder what it looks like. Wow, it's pretty big. So we got Halo Drum Collider, Medical Center. Oh right, Fusion Power Plant. The Eden Project. Fast Grid City Profile. Right, okay. So it's basically some kind of prestige mega level thing that essentially allows you to do massive cheating. So this will bring all of the tourists in. Which is not necessarily what I want to do. I'm more interested in doing more interesting things. I want to earn that rather than just be giving it. So... We'll worry about that later. One thing we can do to finish off this episode, we can buy our last plot of land. There we go, it's a full 9x9. Nine nine. It's a fair chunk of water in this one, but I have plans on thinking about it. Well, we looked at putting a dam down here, and we realised it was only really going to really screw with our uh, nice little hydro hydration system in the Otterway. So I am thinking about putting some kind of dam up here. One of the things I have also thought about was... Um, wow, I didn't realise how much of a cliffside that was. Um was having a look at whether or not we could possibly 
get some kind of key side in over here and build up to it but it does look like the simple fact that the cliffs are just too high in this area for it to be worth our while but what we can do is we can certainly have a look at perhaps putting them in in this area because I have got my well what we'll be doing next episode is building up this because I want to turn it into a very large low density residential area amongst all the woods and the trees which you can just about make out in the dark so while we're waiting for time to tick by no, again not high enough we will start putting in our promenade well that does look nicer actually as a, as a, as a water's edge that looks quite nice oh, it does go under, the, under there adjust itself accordingly to match the height a little bit? No, but it's given us a nicer backing on there. Now this is all much more complicated areas, but... It's adjusted itself a little bit. It does look much nicer, I'll give it that. Yes, we could probably just spend a bit of time playing with these. Trimmings and tidyings. Oh, we'll do a straight line across this one. Yes, we can. This is just a nicer kind of feel and edge to it. I mean, there's almost a practically a canal sunk in the edge along this. So, yeah, I'm going to keep tidying these things. I like the look of this. Um, previously, while we didn't look at it before. It's partly because it just uh, has a tendency to do occasionally weird things depending on where you put it. Because the height of it does seem to vary quite a bit. But I think it looks, I don't know, I'm going to say it looks nicer. I think it just flat out provides. better looking shoreline. So we'll see how far we can. I'm pretty sure I had you on some kind of curve. Yeah, and that's actually just filled all that in, so we might actually get more of a uh, event along here. Just bring it all the way up to there. Inside the harbour. Apparently too close to the harbour there. And now we're on a wiggle. So let's see, can I now, I can, move you to a slightly lower position, just tuck you all over here briefly, anyone else sticking out, no, Yes, I know you've got no road access. I haven't finished building your harbour way yet. Again, someone we really should have got in and had a look at a long time ago. There we go. Now I can move you back. A lovely promenade we have. One of the peculiarities of some of the, literally the pathing you can get with some of these things. 
that's to knock it off. So you've still got quite a bit of depth. But you're still not. Is there more promenade? Hmm, apparently that does work as uh, road access. So what we're supposed we could do is just get a tiny no, I don't want to necessarily do that. No, not good. We just want to move you is probably the easiest way of getting your road access back. Not close enough. Not close enough. So apparently that is close enough. Ah, well I've staged you back slightly. Interesting. Alright, so that wolf thing is idealized for that kind of stuff. You get to keep tinkering with this. Anyway, I'll be back later, once I've finished tinkering with this, and we will be looking at another little fun bit to be playing with. I think next time we'll be building a large residential area. So in the interim, I'll start playing around with seawalls. Back later.